Good evening. My name is Carolyn Black, and I am the Director of Music Emeritus at Grace Church in Ossony, New York, uh, with two campuses. We have one in Trinity on Highland Avenue and one at St. Paul on the Hill on Ganung Drive, and I am doing Compline for you this Friday evening. I'd like to see if I can sing this song because it was one of my mother's favorites and uh, she loved it. She played it a lot and uh, they sang it at my childhood church when I was growing up as a little girl. sent his son they called him Jesus he came to love heal and forgive he lived and died to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Savior begins tonight on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you in through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Page 129, Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge, let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle, to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that you have secretly, they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is Matthew 11, verse 28 through 30. Thanks be to God. Be watchful, be sober. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. First Peter, fifth chapter, verse eight through nine a. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Last week, I think I started uh, reading to you from my favorite book of prayers um, by Sarah Bessie. And I started reading the one about from Winnie Varhees, and she was talking about a four-year-old who went to um, sit at the the hand of a woman who was dying, and uh, she was four years old, and she went to this house all by herself, and everybody was surprised to see her there. So I, I'd like to read a little bit more of that to you. My mother will occasionally call and text me with a name and a concern and tell me to pray for the person. My mother used to do that too. Usually it's someone I've not met, paired with a scary diagnosis. I do the same with her, often for myself when I am worried. It feels like a solid handoff to me. If it's in mommy's hands, I can let it be for now. For the record, I'm not really that kind of Christian, she says. I like a chanted service, incense, and a script. But when the absolute bottom falls out of my capacity to cope, I ask my mother to pray for me, and I know my parents will during their evening prayers on the sofa in detail. These days when I pray, I send all my hopes and fears into the air over the Hudson River, trying to remain long enough for the language of praise to come to me naturally. The words eventually come, usually in the form of an old song from my childhood. Nothing feels steady around me anymore. I don't know if it's about the horrors of this political moment or the kind of work that I am doing, or my age. I'm there. I really don't know. In my work at times, it feels like the weight of inequity. In my work at times, it feels like the weight and the power of the state over vulnerable people, although are close, wicked, terrifying. The fragility of the bodies broken by it, present the hauntedness of this land, the generations of abuse and exploitation palpable. I have been praying to discern, to have courage and clarity amid all this. I pray for the sense of purpose like that four-year-old. When I pray, I remembered the Friday evening prayer meetings of my childhood when the prayers and songs and words were spoken in Malayalam. I wonder how much of my spirituality was formed by a language that I barely understood. Spaces like this taught me liturgy and music. For us kids, we couldn't understand the words, just the emotions. The aunties and uncles would settle into their seats, take off their glasses, anticipating tears. 
I never wondered back then why they were crying. And now let us pray together the prayer that Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us pray for those who are in dire need and who have asked for special prayers for faith. Bill, Father Charles, Alicia, Kathleen, Chuck, George, Mary, Claire, Jenny, Jim, Nils, Dennis, Zach, Andrea, Robert, Teresa, Megan, and Ralph. And for Magda, John, Luz Maria, Charles, Llewellyn, Phil, Suzanne, Mike, Andreas, Tim, Jason, Sarah, Asa Jr., Yara, Dawn, Karen, Christy, Scott, and the family of Betty Barrows. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Elfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Pablo, Bill, Anthony, and Nicola. And for those who have died, especially Betty Barrows. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have let your, set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Stay safe, my friends. Wear your masks and do for your neighbors what you can. Amen. Hey, hey.